Thank you for joining us. Um, coach, I'm sure a frustrating 90 minutes for you um, this evening. Um, can you please give us your reflection of the match? Thank you, Roger. Uh, good evening, uh, members of the media. Um, I think um, in terms of the application, um, we did well. But it's not only about the application. What is important is the product. And playing a game like this, we were looking forward to, to win this game, um, to score goals. Um, what we have been working on, um, we could see coming out. But uh, the biggest challenge uh, we had today was uh, uh, not converting the chances we created. We had uh, better ball possession, uh, better tactical movements in going forward. Um, and also we had uh, uh, aggressive last third entries, but the unfortunate part was um, the final decision making of the player on the ball in terms of uh, putting the ball behind the net. I think um, uh, the overall performance of the team, um, it is something that we can take uh, positives out of it uh, going forward. But I think uh, we are all disappointed that uh, we did not win again, that we have uh, worked so hard uh, to, to win. And I think um, it's also very important for us when we go back um, to leave the spirit because um, you don't create chances and you don't score. But the most important thing is uh, to have a strong mentality going into uh, the next uh, DSTV matches. Thank you. Um, now we open to members of the media to um, ask uh, questions. We have a rolling mic. You know the drill. Name of your media house and uh, your question. Um, okay. Uh, thank you. Um, Chowazis from Far Post. Coach, you gave George uh, a rest start. Um, your thoughts about his performance and what does he bring to the team? I think uh, his performance uh, um, has been very good, uh, even from last season. But the unfortunate part, he had uh, too many injuries. Uh, that also um, retarded his progress in terms of his game time. And uh, in the preseason, George was one of the best players we had in the preseason. But he could not play the matches uh, or the preparation matches we had in the preseason because uh, he was injured. And I think uh, it was also good when you give a player confidence to say you are rewarded for the hard work you put in training. For the past uh, two matches, George has been coming in as a sub, and he gave us a lot of balance in terms of uh, his tactical understanding of the game. And today we needed to play with uh, two number eights, um, the three midfielders with uh, Yusuf uh, helping us as a six. So uh, George uh, uh, was good for that profile uh, to play as a six, I mean as an eight, and also helping us in attack. So I think uh, he had a very good game, uh, but you could tell that uh, in, terms of, in terms of his match fitness, he's still lacking, but it was a good run for him to play um, over uh, 60 minutes. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Coach, from the staff. Coach uh, like you said, it was disappointing from side one, but how important will it be for you to take positives from this game going into the two matches against the Super Sport and the Sundowns? Yeah, I think the most important thing is for is for us uh, to understand um, um, the three types of results. Uh, we, we 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 played this game uh, looking to have a win, and uh, when you don't win a game, um, yes, you are disappointed. But you also look at, uh, like you said, the positives. Um, the positives, like I said, uh, we had uh, very good ball possession. We had very good tactical movements uh, going forward and in shifting play and changing point of attack. And for them to get into those goal scoring uh, opportunities, it's hard work. It's for them to understand um, our approach in attack. So those are the positives. But I think uh, um, um, the other thing which is very important is, 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 the, is the challenge we, 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 we experienced today coachable. I feel it's coachable because uh, when you talk of um, composure, you have to work on composure in, in small spaces, in tight spaces. How do you deal with those situations? So if you look at um, um, Ash in particular, if you look at Saili, if you look at uh, uh, Gonzalez, if you look at Moody, I think uh, they, they worked very hard to get into those goal scoring uh, areas. But uh, 
the positives will always be, let's go back to training. We, we, we did well. Unfortunately, we did not score goals. But you have to work throughout the season uh, to create more goals and score more goals. Firstly, he's a quality player. That is why um, uh, the club uh, brought him to play for, for the club. And uh, even when he came against Sundowns, I think he did a very good job. Um, he's our point of reference. Uh, whether it's set plays, whether it's combination play that uh, we, are, we are deploying on the day, um, he's that player. Because when we started the season, um, Ranga was injured, so we did not have any uh, number nine that can always be that reference point. But I think uh, um, for the past two weeks uh, working with him, he's a very enthusiastic type of a player. He's looking forward to be on the pitch and uh, he's, he's, he got a very good personality because um, he connects very well with the players. But I think um, it's work in progress for him because uh, he still has to understand the league. He still has to understand the opponents uh, in terms of uh, applying himself properly. But I think uh, he had a very good game today. Uh, it is just unfortunate for him not to have scored. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Coach Vrela from uh, SNC. Um, yes, maybe you didn't score and you didn't win, but um, it's now three clean sheets um, in the last four matches. Um, and, and how big of a role is because I think in the other first half, you were asked about uh, playing uh, Quinnega ahead of uh, Frostler. And when you look at their profile, they are the wing back, they are more of a natural right back. Um, this back four that you are playing, um, would you say it's giving you what you've been looking for? I think the most important thing is, uh, is for a tactical cohesion that you build in the players, the understanding. Um, when you build a team, uh, there, there has to be that understanding between players, there has to be that understanding as an individual in terms of what are the tactical demands uh, out of possession and in possession. And I think uh, when you look at uh, how they played in the past matches and even today, there is a very clear understanding between them. But like you said, um, uh, Quinnica gives us more balance in defense. That is why when we wanted to take the game to, to, to Real AM, we brought in Reef, uh, who will always be giving us more options going forward. And uh, it is just unfortunate, like a, <laughs> again, the word unfortunate. It was just uh, for, for Reef uh, to get more involved in the game. And also, I think uh, um, our, our possession game in attack uh, became better with uh, Reef coming in. But I think uh, they've done very well defensively. And like I said, it's not only about our defense. It is also about the whole team. If we press properly from the front, if we deal very well with the middle field uh, defending, and then you go into our, our defensive line and the goalkeeper. I think uh, uh, that is a very important understanding that you need to develop uh, in your players. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, uh, from what I saw looking at the body language of the fans and the players alike, and like, I mean, you guys had a beautiful game today, you know, barring the, the coldest draw. Would you say that um, out of 100%, how far are you getting the team to where it is, it, it, you want it to be? And um, looking at the scoring chances that were there, I mean, clear cut chances were missed, and the goalpost was hit a few times, and all of that. Would you, right, would, I, would you say that um, the team is getting to where you want it to be, and how far are you? And looking at the personnel that you have and looking at the opponent that you played today, who actually today gave more respect, unlike the other times that they just come randomly at Kaiser Chiefs, but they played a more consecutive time of type of game. I think uh, um, I should also credit the, 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 the players. I should also credit the team. But if, you, if I start saying 20%, 40%, 80%, I think I'll be giving a very wrong uh, uh, data in terms of our performances. Uh, like I said, it's work in progress. Uh, today you see a player doing well. The next day is another player doing well. So ultimately we'll have everybody doing well. 
because uh, it's only it, it is not only about the team performance. It firstly starts with the individual to say, do I understand my roles in possession out of possession? Can I defend one v one situations? Can I read into the situation and still be uh, a better player? So I think uh, they are doing very well, and I think uh, all of us, the technical team, um, uh, the players, uh, there is that uh, uh, cohesion, there is that uh, brotherhood that is developing in the team. So as soon as you get that buy-in from everybody in the team, I think you will have a, a very good season ahead. Coach uh, Lorenzo from Itersky Times, um, the number nine position, the striker role, has been a problematic position for the club for many years. I mean, Paul Nurkovic's first season. Um, but Gonzalez, how does he differ from Chiva Viro and maybe even Bimeni Mana <coughs> as, a, as a target man? And um, is there any impetus into playing to their strengths if he's a traditional target man um, to give him opportunities to dominate aerially? I'll always make reference to um, how Man City used to play without a striker. Uh, they were still very effective. And uh, when I look at the profile of uh, uh, Chivaviro and uh, uh, Gonzalez, basically we are not going to play a game where we have got uh, a striker who's standing there all the time, who's helping the centre-backs to defend the goal side. So with him we have got somebody who's very mobile, Somebody, when he's on the sides, he becomes a winger. He can take players on, and he's very strong o o on the ball. So I think uh, it's, a, it's a very good mixture in terms of uh, us uh, doing the, a, a, a proper profile of him. So I think uh, he, will, he will help us a lot going forward because it is not only about him being a target man. It's about him being a reference point. Reference points can be on the side. Reference point can be in the middle field. Reference point can be at the top. But the most important thing is how you move the defenders to create those uh, scoring opportunities. So I think today he did well because there were times where he was facing the goals and he tried to, to take shots at goal and score. But uh, I think over time he will uh, be um, a player uh, with Ranga that will definitely help us going forward. Okay. Um. <coughs> Coach, Potsani and Tushara were, you took Potsani, sorry, were not able to absent from today's match. Any update on on why they were not part of the match today? I think we are doing a very important tactical rotation of our players, and also it depends on the approach for 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 the day. When you look at Potsani and Tushara, they have been playing all the the games uh, that we had this season. And unfortunately, um, the level of freshness was a, a very important uh, part to look at. So we're giving uh, fresher players an opportunity today. So Mdu, um, Danzani, and Potsani, um, they, they, are, they have been part of the training session this week. And even today, they are training and they are preparing for the next matches. So a, a rotation is important because if ever you don't get to play for too long and then you've got challenges, either suspension or injuries, then you have a player who's not ready to play. So I think uh, they've done very well in the past matches, but today we gave other players a chance, and I think they also did very well. So it is a fair competition that we have for the first 11 or to be in the, in the, in the first 20. Coach, Colin from Jersey Captions, Jersey FM. I just want to find out, Coach, um, if we look at uh, the how, how you play, even how you came back to the second half, one would say there's no blame that can go to the technical side. You've done everything according to the book. At what point do we say to players it's all in your hands where they can apply critical thinking and uh, play with intensity of getting the goal? Yeah, I think uh, um, um, there are tactical objectives and there are um, tactical objectives you will get from a small sided game. Small sided game, it's high intensity. You have to, to think very fast. You have to, uh, to score and be able to defend. So I think um, with the game we played today, um, we can always go back and help them uh, to have more of intensity in possession, of which I think uh, uh, the opponents applied a, a very deep block. And in applying a very deep block, the plan was to have a quick circulation of the ball, as we did. But unfortunately, we could not um, uh, uh, get a product that we were looking for. But as for the players in terms of the performances today, uh, we'll always be giving a technical report, individual assessment, 
and then we'll be able to work on uh, whoever player had a situation, we'll always uh, make uh, a clips of those situations and then we'll help him. He will have uh, meetings with our analysis team and then they will be able to help him in relation to how we want to play. Mugodisi, thank you very much for your time this evening. Um, good luck for Wednesday against uh, Super Sports United. And I'm sure we'll see members of the media here again on Thursday ahead of the MTN8 semi-final second day. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, sir. <laughs>